This is a short video on building a Vans RV12 kit. My hangar neighbor Ben approached me and said, Jimmy, you interested in building another airplane? I had a Zen Air 601 HDS that I was flying. He had a Vans RV6A. Uh, Looked at several different kit options. I uh, decided on the Vans RV12. In September of 2008, we ordered the wing kit. It arrived in November of 2008. So we were working on that. <clears throat> I'm building it in my hangar in Blairsville, Georgia. Ben uh, was able to help me occasionally. Uh, he was doing a little commercial flying on the side. Uh, he's a retired FedEx pilot with, uh, uh, I think, 20 plus, plus years in the Navy as a A7 uh, pilot. Made a wing carrier to uh, store the wings uh, as we uh, finished them and uh, had friends come over occasionally to help us flip the wings over to work on the other side. Ben's using a pneumatic uh, rivet gun here. I'm working on the wing tips. Here are uh, the flapperons, working on those, finishing those up. And then in January, the tail and fuselage kits arrived, January of 2009. Did the inventory, started working on the uh, <clears throat> rudder system or the uh, vertical stabilizer we had quite a few solid rivets that you had to squeeze and but the majority of the rivets were pulled rivets here's the finished uh, horizontal stabilizer Started on the fuselage. February 2009, we started working on the rear fuselage. Occasionally, friends would drop by, we'd have them pull a rivet so they could say, Yeah, I worked on that project. Here's the rear fuselage. Blairsville River Works. No job too big. Had friends uh, help us uh, attach the rear tail assembly, hold it in place. Then we uh, carried the uh, fuselage over to a neighbor's hangar to store it. Buster, the uh, airport dog, had to help. February 2009, we started on the center section fuselage. building up the whole center bottom uh, section. Here's John, the airport manager, and Don Campbell looking on. Total times up to this point was a little over 220 hours of labor for getting up to this point. Here's the fuel pump and the fuel line assemblies. Primed uh, most of the uh, interior. Self-etching primer. Attaching the side skins to the center fuselage. Lots of rivets. This is the air vent to the side of the fuselage. This is the roll bar assembly. We primed it, painted it. After we fit it up, took it off, repainted it. Working on the seat assembly here. This is the rudder pedals and brake assembly. Ran the pneumatic lines down to the brakes, landing gear. This is the finish kit in uh, April of 2009. Here I'm working on the uh, instrument panel area. And we test fitted the wings, made sure everything worked and was fitted right. 
turn the fuselage on its side to start the wiring. A lot of wires running back through the tail. Working on uh, matching the rear fuselage to the side center fuselage. Getting it all line, lined up. Put the clecos in and getting it ready to rivet. Working on the control uh, push-pull tubes. In January of 2009, we started on the canopy. We had 494 hours to this point. A lot of uh, trimming on the canopy, a lot of fitting, test fitting. Canopy tilts up, so there's a lot of adjustment. Um, then we started the fiberglass, had to put the uh, lay up uh, some foam, sand it all down to the contours of the side and then we use fiberglass to lay up on it. Several layers of fiberglass. Wasn't my favorite part of the project, working with fiberglass, but um, the end result turned out nice. A lot of sanding, a lot of cutting. Here we trimmed, uh, trimmed it to the final stage and it looked pretty good after all the sanding and priming and filling turned out pretty good. In August of 2009, we started on the landing gear, installed the landing gear legs, the uh, wheel and tire assemblies, brake assemblies, put on the nose wheel, got everything adjusted. August 2009, we started on the engine cowling. Uh, a lot of cutting, fitting, uh, on and off, on and off, many times to get it all adjusted and squared up right. Working on the fiberglass tail cone assembly. And in September we started on the instrument panel. Here's the uh, fuel tank. You had to assemble it. A lot of pro seal on the inside, special uh, rivets that we used, and then we leak tested it to make sure everything was not going to leak. Putting on the uh, nozzle uh, piping down to the fuel tank. This is what it looked like after we installed it. The end of September 2009, the engine kit uh, arrived. Uh, some a uh, little bit of assembly then we used a borrowed a engine hoist to uh, move it up to the fuselage and bolt the uh, engine into the mounts the aircraft spinner we had to drill out uh, mount the props they were uh, ground adjustable props added the oil tank the batteries all the electrical lines here's uh, some cowling for duct work inside the engine cowling November 2009, we uh, loaded up the wings and the fuselage, hauled it to Murphy, North Carolina to an auto body shop who uh, agreed to do the painting for us. They did, uh, we masked off uh, for the different colors. We had uh, masks to do the stars and bars and the emblem on the rear tail. They did a good job, uh, they clear coated it turned out pretty good. So about a month and a half later, December, the end of December 2009, uh, the project was uh, done. We hauled it uh, back home, back to Blairsville Airport. So after we got it back at uh, my hangar, we uh, did the final touches of uh, getting everything finished up, installing the interior, the side panels, interior. This was all included in the kit. Fitting the wings back on. And eventually we did an engine run up, testing the engine, making sure everything uh, was working. Our friends uh, Brett and Jack came over to do the weight balance. Uh, final weight came in at 750 pounds. Our decal there said danger erection seat 
that usually got a few laughs. We uh, went with a military paint scheme and on the tail we put uh, Ben's uh, Navy squadron that he flew in A7s, the Golden Warriors. Our first flight was March of 2010. Uh, we later flew it to uh, uh, Lakeland, Florida to the Sun and Fun Air Show. Um, EAA Sport Aviation Magazine asked to do a fly uh, and take some pictures of it and it ended up in Sport Aviation Magazine. We flew about an hour with them and took uh, about 360 photos that day. We got up above the clouds, uh, get all different angles of flying. Uh, we also won uh, Outstanding Aircraft Award at the uh, air show that year. After finishing Ben's airplane, a friend asked if I'd build another one with the same paint job, but he wanted his army insignia on his tail, so we finished that about a year later. Uh, a friend of mine bought that, Randy, and then my neighbor uh, next door said, well, you built two of those. If I buy a kit, will you help me? So we ended up working on uh, Bill's airplane. That's the red one in the back. It's a great airplane to fly, a lot of fun. Um, enjoyed building them.